everyone, it's Sarah from Apricot Polka Dot, and today I'm going to show you a really simple way to make a super fun crocheted rainbow. To get started, you just need a few supplies. You'll need six colors of yarn for your rainbow. Now, of course, if you want to make this a little bit smaller and only make three arcs of your rainbow, three colors would be fine. If you want to make it larger, you will just need as many colors as you want to have arcs on your rainbow. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook that matches the size of your yarn, so I'm using a 5.5 millimeter, and then a yarn needle that will help you just stitch in your ends at the very, very end of making our rainbow. So let's get started. All right, to get started on these rainbows, I'm actually even just using up a little bit of yarn. This is a great scrap buster project because you can use up small amounts of yarn to just make the most colorful, fun rainbows using yarn you already have. So to get started, we're just gonna get on our hook here. So I'm gonna just start that like I normally would any crochet project. And then we're going to chain four, two, three, four. Now we're gonna make a magic circle where we're gonna go into that very first chain that we put on our hook and we're just gonna do a slip stitch through to make our little magic circle. So now you can see in the center that's where our little circle is and you can kind of tighten it up but that's what we're gonna be stitching directly into the center of this circle. Now if you have looked at my website at all you'll see that for this year I like to make temperature blankets, cro crocheted temperature blankets each year. This year I'm actually doing a temperature blanket where the high temperature of each day is a circle in the center of a square. And the high temperature is the circle, the low temperature is the square around. And actually that blanket is starting exactly as these rainbows start. And so it's really, I'm kind of doing a lot of circles this year, but this is exactly how that pattern starts as well. So now that we have our magic circle, we're going to chain three. Okay. And this is my new hook and I'm not quite, there we go. Okay, so now we have chain three and we are going to continue to go into this, this center circle 11 times so that we have a total, this is gonna count as our first double crochet, this chain three. And then we're going to end up with a total of 12 double crochets with this counting as one. So I'm going to go ahead and do 12, 11 additional double crochets into that center circle. So there's one, so now we have two, but see how I'm going directly into the center of where I made that chain four at the beginning and turned it into a circle. So I'm gonna continue to do this until I have 12 total, counting this chain three around my center circle. Okay, I just finished up my 12 double crochets into that center circle. So it was actually 11 double crochets and then the chain three. So we have 12 total. And now I'm going to go in to the, the third stitch. So one, two, three, the third chain that we started with to end this circle, close it off so that we can start a new color. So I just go through that first chain and we're gonna slip stitch. We just pull our yarn all the way through to make a complete circle. And now we can actually trim this yarn, pull our yarn through, tie that off. The nice thing about these rainbows is the fact that they all, they're all gonna be worked in the circle and then we're actually going to fold them in half and turn them into a rainbow. And so I always still have a tendency to weave in my ends because it's just out of habit because I prefer to weave them in as I'm stitching than have to go back and stitch them in at the end. But because we're actually going to be folding this in half, it is up to you if you want to stitch them in at all or if you just leave them, they'll end up, if you just make sure they end up on the back side, they'll just get folded inside our circle at the end anyway. I will still be stitching these in a little bit just because they kind of bug me and they get in the way. So now we are ready to start our second round. We have our first round ready to go and let's start our second. Now we are ready to start our second round on our rainbow. 
and for this one I'm going to use this cute yellow color and what we're going to be doing this round is we're going to be building up our rainbow by actually doing two double crochets into every stitch from the previous round which will give us a total of 24 stitches at the end so the first row had 12 and now we're going to end up with 24 stitches so we're doubling the size of our rainbow in this round so for this one we're just going to insert our hook into the first stitch so you can see that I've got that completely into the first stitch on our rainbow and then we're just going to pull our yarn through if I can get that with this there we go and we're just going to start with that so we're going to begin with chain three just like we did and this is actually how like every round starts with exception to the very last row so we chain three that's going to count as our first double crochet I'm going to grab some of these yarn strands in the back just to kind of hold them so that they get stitched in then we're going to put one more double crochet into this same stitch that we just did our chain three finish that up don't mind all my ends all right so there now we have two it's going to count as two double crochets into that first stitch and then we are going to continue to do this all the way around our rainbow two double crochets into every stitch so I'm going to continue now this is a little tricky when you see your knot from the previous round where you tied off your string and started um, you have to make sure that you're still counting this as a stitch right here because that does count as a stitch so we're going to make sure we go into that but just make sure when you're counting at the end that you don't end up with any additional if you end up with too many you can just go back and figure out kind of where where you may have missed one but you just want to make sure that you have two double crochet into every stitch so now we have four total and I'm going to continue to stitch around and I'll catch you at the very end Okay, so we are almost done with this second row. Um, I'm just going to double check and make sure that we have 24 stitches. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Perfect. So, you want to make sure you end up with 24 stitches, 24 double crochets in that round. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the first round where we're going to count up to the third chain from that first chain three we're going to get our put our crochet hook through and we're going to just, just slip stitch pull it all the way through we can fasten this off now pull our yarn through and we are done with round two and now we're ready to begin round three for round three, I'm going to use this cute turquoise yarn. And this round, we are also adding on to our rainbow by adding a few more stitches each time. But this time, instead of doing a double crochet in every stitch, we're gonna do a double cro crochet in one stitch. And then in the next stitch, we're just going to do, or we're gonna do two double crochets into one stitch, then one double crochet in the next. Then two double crochets into the next stitch, one in the next. So we're, we're not doubling as much as we did in the first round, but we are going to just continue to add a little bit um, without making it so it folds in on itself. So we're going to begin same way we have with all the others. We're going to insert our yarn into the first stitch, get our yarn attached here. this new hook just does not like to pull through the first stitch okay so we've got that on there and then we're going to start like we do all the other rounds with a chain three one two three and then remember we're going to do two double crochet in the first stitch So that chain three counts as one, and then we did one additional into that same first stitch. And now we need to just do one double crochet in the next stitch. And this is the one with that knot from our previous.
previous round. So just make sure you don't forget those stitches too. Okay, so now we did that single, that one double crochet. And so now we're back to another two stitches into the next stitch. So that's our pattern, two, one, two, one, into every stitch all the way around. So there's our second two stitched double crochet. Now we just want one double crochet. Okay, and now we're gonna just continue to do that all the way around this round. Okay, I just finished and I just wanted to count and make sure that I had the right number of stitches. You should end up with 36 stitches at the end of this round. So basically every round is going to increase by 12 stitches. So now we have 36 and then we're gonna fasten off this color same way we have the other ones where we're just going to grab our yarn and then cut, pull our yarn through, and now we have finished round three. So we are halfway done, except the other rounds do get a little larger, but we're halfway done at this point. So now we can move on to the next color. For our fourth round, we are going to be doing basically the same thing, except you know how we changed our pattern with the last round, how we did two double crochet in one stitch, then one double crochet in the next, and that was our pattern? Well, this time we're actually going to add in one more stitch of just one double crochet. So we're going to do two double crochet in one, one double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, and then two again. So we're going to have in between every stitch that has two, there's going to be two stitches that just have one. And that's actually going to be how our whole circle is built up. Every time we add one more double crochet stitch into the middle of our double crochet, two double crochet stitches. So this time we're going to end up with a total of 48 stitches at the end. And I'm going to use a pink yarn for this round. So again, we're going to insert our hook, pull that yarn through chain three like we always do that's going to count as our first double crochet and then this will be our stitch where we have two double crochets together so there's our first single stitch of two double crochets and now the next one is just going to have one double crochet in that stitch okay so we've got two and then one and then the next one is also only going to have one double crocheted stitch. And that is how our pattern is going to go on this round. So two, one, one. Just remember that. So this next one's going to have two. And then we go back to our one again. One. And one. The nice thing about this pattern is that it's really simple stitches. I mean, as long as you know how to do a double crochet, a single crochet, I mean, chain, you're pretty much, that's it. That's all there is, um, which makes it really nice and really easy to do. So I'm going to continue this pattern all the way around and I'll check back at the end. <laughs> So we just ended our 48 stitches in our 2-1-1 pattern and now we're going to finish this, this circle off like we have the others. Insert your hook into the top chain of that chain 3, cut our yarn off and then fasten off. So now we've got 4 rounds done. Now again, you could just end your little rainbow right here, that would be adorable still. but. Now we're just going to go a little bit bigger and keep keep up those color keep those colors coming. So we are ready to begin round five. So for round five, you probably have figured out what our pattern is by this time. So last time we did two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet, one double crochet, then back to the two. So now this round we're going to do two double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet. 
So we're just kind of taking, we're adding just one stitch into those stitches in between those two double stitches. Um, every time we're just adding one additional one in between our stitches that have two. So this is a two, one, one, one round. So for this one, I'm gonna use this coral color. We're gonna start it just like we have all these others. So now my mom actually made me a really cute rainbow and I had to know how she did it and then she told me it was just a circle and I couldn't believe it so I had to try it for myself. So thanks to my mom, this pattern <laughs> is thanks to her. So I just did my chain three. This will be our first two double crochet stitch. And now remember, following that one, we're going to end up with three double crochets all individually in the next three, oops, I'm gonna lose my, my stitch, there we go, in the next three stitches. So that was one, two, and three. Okay, so we have two, one, 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 and now we are back to another two stitches in this stitch. And then we're back to one in the next, one in the next, and one in the next. So three total in the middle there. And if you're noticing, I am stitching in these ends right here a little bit. This whole part, the back half, is all going to be inside our rainbow anyway, so you will not see it. So if you don't like stitching in your, your ends, don't worry about it. They'll all end up in the center anyway. I just don't like to have them in the way, so I'm going to continue stitching them in, and I will continue to meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of the fifth round and we are going to close this up just like we have the others. Trim that yarn. It's interesting because I'm using yarns of all different brands and so some of them are a little tighter than others and some are a little looser and they just kind of have a tendency to behave a little differently but it really does not matter. They all it all will look great in the end, especially once we stitch it all together. So we are ready to begin our final round, round six. So for this final round, we are actually going to continue with that pattern that we've been doing where we do two double crochet in one stitch, one, two, three, two double crochet, one, two, three, but we're gonna continue to add one more in between. So it'll be two double crochet, one, two, three, then we're gonna add a fourth. So we're gonna continue that pattern. However, we're actually going to do this whole row, this whole round in a single crochet because when we stitch up our rainbow at the end, when we fold it in half, we're gonna also use a single crochet to stitch it. So then the two single crochets um, will make it look like a double crochet. So it's not so, like the last round isn't so giant and huge. So we're going to get our yarn on just like we have with all of the other rounds. We're going to we're going to actually just chain 2 this time because we're doing a single crochet. So we have that on here and then we're going to do just a single crochet in with that first two chain which is going to count as our first single crochet. And then in the next stitch we're going to do another single crochet but this is just one in that stitch. Then we're going to do one in the next one in the next, so that's three and four. So we have two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet. So we ended up with two, one, 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 one. So if you'll recall, our first round was just starting our circle. Second round had a double crochet in every stitch. The third round had a double crochet and then one single one. The third, the fourth round had double crochet, 
two individual ones. The next one was two, a double, two double crochet and then one, two, three. And then this final one is two single crochet and then four additional single crochet. And that's how we're going to do this entire round as well. So I'll do that real quick. Right, we just finished our sixth and final round. I just need to finish this one off by closing it up. And then we are going to work on stitching it together so that we can make our rainbow shape. Pull that yarn through. Yay, isn't that cute? I just think it's cute by itself anyway. But now we're going to actually go ahead and do um, a single crochet all the way around it as we fold it like a taco and make an actual rainbow. So let's start with that. Okay, so now we're ready to fold our circle in half and make it into a rainbow. Now I should point out that you can actually keep your string on, you can keep the yarn on, you don't have to trim it if that's easier to for you. I like to start my rainbow right where that knot is anyway. So I'm just going to fold it in half and it doesn't have to like even match up exactly because it will as you start to put the stitches together naturally anyway. So I'm just actually gonna get my yarn on here by going through just this one stitch. Maybe. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a single crochet all the way across. So I'm gonna um I'm going to give myself one chain to give myself a little space and then we're going to look directly across the circle from where I just made that chain and we're going to go into the first single crochet on the other side and then we're going to do a single crochet and now we're going to continue that into the next stitch so you're going to go through both halves so here's the half on one Here's the single here's the cro single crochet on this half. Here's the single crochet on this other half and we are going to go through both of them. So here we're going to go through the first and then we're going to go through the second. I actually sometimes think it's easier to keep um my like to kind of separate it so I can make sure I'm actually going through the right place and then we're just going to pull through for a single crochet. Just like that. So we're going to continue to do that. I'm going to go and stitch it across, all the way across, and then we'll meet back in a second. Okay, and I'm here at my like final two stitches, and it gets a little harder to see. I like to separate it to see where my stitch needs to go, so it gets a little trickier at the end but you can still see where you have your like one stitch on this side and then you just try to find a matching one on the other. And again, it all works out. It always just looks cute regardless. And then this is going to be our final stitch. And that is how our rainbow is going to look. Now we're going to just trim the end of our yarn. And this is where you need your yarn needle. Um, you might want to tie just a little knot, even though that probably won't hold a lot, but we're going to end up stitching the ends in anyway. And I just like to sort of go, go like into some of these stitches, just kind of like this, just to make sure it kind of keeps its place there. And we just kind of weave, weave it through just don't want it to come out and actually when you start this round as well you'll probably want to um, make sure it's really secure I didn't it's really secure mine super well for this one because I know it's not it's not gonna be in little hands it's not gonna be touched a lot but if if you feel like yours is gonna be maybe getting touched you just want to make sure that you're re you've really secured your your end when you start this connecting row so let's do let's do like one more little stitch through here, maybe, 
pull that through. And then we'll just trim our end. Ta-da! And you have the cutest rainbow. I like want to make them in every color. As you can see, I have a little bit of an addiction with these now. I just can't stop. They're too fun. And they're really fun. They would be cute to attach to a gift. You can tie a little string or yarn to the top so that it can hang somewhere. Um, so many possibilities. They are just fun and so easy to make. And I think once you start making them, you're going to realize that you want to make a million in a million different colors. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a whole little garden full of rainbows in your house pretty soon. Um, and if you want to find more tutorials and more fun crafty goodness, you can always check out my website at apricotpolkadot.com.